Hello, I am Massimiliano Allegri, I am the coach of the Juventus. The Juventus has a great tradition, a historic tradition. Juventus has a huge history and tradition. It's the club who's won the most in Italy, and of course I feel the responsibility of coaching this team whose only aim is to win, who's bound to win. But at the same time, the club management is very strong and there's an excellent work environment to coach and to create a solid basis to achieve our goals. And when you coach a great team, an important club, you always have the responsibility and the obligation to win. In life, you need luck. And this year, I've been very lucky because I found myself coaching Juve, the team I supported when I was a child. I think it's a very important challenge, not only for me, but for the whole club, especially after they've won three consecutive titles. I've inherited a very important group of players with both technical and moral values. I'm not surprised by the way we've begun. But we're just at the beginning, and we have to stay focused and balanced, because the season is very long. I think a team's results are determined by three main factors. You have to have a strong management, and Juve have got a very strong management with a winning DNA. You have to have an excellent coach, and finally, excellent players, both at technical and mental level. And when these three components are there, it's certainly much easier to achieve the objectives you set for the club. A good coach alone is not enough. A strong club alone is not enough. And good players alone are not enough. All these three factors must be taken into account if you want to achieve good results. In football, I only have one philosophy, winning. To win, you have to have a good game quality and you have to give rules, both on the pitch and outside the pitch. I love having at my disposal good players, champions, because at the end of the day, football is a show, so the better your players are and the better you manage them, the better the show is. But first and foremost, champions help you win games. And the club has been very clear on Vidal. This season, Vidal is a Juve player, and I think there's no possibility that in January he'll go to Manchester. At the moment, I've won very little. I only won a Scudetto and a Supercoppa. I've got so many goals to achieve, and I hope I'll achieve them, and I'm sure I'll do my best to achieve them. And Juve don't have a problem in the Champions League, and I think we've got all the chances to go far in this competition. We played a good game with Malmo, winning the match, and we showed a great personality when playing Atletico in Madrid, and nothing would have changed if we'd won or drawn. We played at the same level with the team that won the La Liga last year, a team that beat Real Madrid four times. We went to their ground and we showed great personality. A negative result does not change what we have done. But I think Juve have a good chance to go through the group stage and prepare in March to play a good round of 16. In Italy, we have huge economic problems that not only involve football, but the country at large. And that's why champions sometimes prefer going to play in Spain or in England, where there are teams who have turnovers as much as twice as large than those of the Italian sides. I think there are different ways of playing football in Spain, in France, in England, in Germany. It depends on the culture of the country. You can't change it. An Italian coach can't go to England and change their football culture, but he can take our knowledge and our routines, and the same goes for an English or Spanish manager who comes to coach in Italy. And I think in a few years there'll be a globalization in football as far as training methods are concerned, and then it'll be much easier for us to go and coach in England or Spain, or for them to come and coach in Italy. But at this moment in time, cultures are pretty different, so there can be some difficulties. And I was in London for two months after I was dismissed by AC Milan. I saw some games to try and better understand English football. It's different from Italian football. It's more fascinating. And what particularly struck me was how good their infrastructures are and the huge enthusiasm that the crowd has when going to the ground. They're way ahead of us, unfortunately. 
So I hope in the future to have the opportunity to coach in England and to rise to the challenge of working in a completely different type of football. But I don't want to coach until into my old age. I started when I was young and I believe a coach has a shelf life of no more than 20 years. And then it depends on the life quality you want to have. You can sit on a bench until you're 70, but I won't be a coach when I'm 70. But having said that, I have the ambition to coach the Italy national team, and that's a dream for every Italian. But it might well be that given this globalization era, that in the future, I'll coach a foreign national team.